G'day guys, how's it going? This is Broadcasting Because, and over the last couple of weeks since I started putting out videos on AFL Live 2, a fair few people have started to message me asking things about you know, how do I adjust the teams, or how do I edit teams to more accurately reflect real life, or how do I make the changes and the draft picks and all that that have happened through the offseason. Uh, to more accurately reflect what the ones are now. So I thought what I'd do is do a bit of a video to, sort of like a guide to the footy factory. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to call this video yet, but it'll be something like that. Just to give you guys, hopefully, a couple of tips uh, and to answer a lot of the questions that have been coming in. So like, how do I put Buddy Franklin with the Swans? How do I put, you know, how do I change numbers? All that sort of stuff. Because I know I had problems with an AFL Live 1, and unfortunately, dealing with it has not got even better. In fact, I think that the footy factory, the way you actually handle it uh, in AFL Live 2 has gotten considerably worse, which is a real pain. But anyway, let's get into this. We'll start off by entering into the footy factory. So here we go. Here are the three options that you've got inside the footy factory. You've got team editor, list management, management. That's, that's almost a word, list management, and reset to default. The only time you'd ever really need to use reset to default is if you were doing like, I know with the, the moment series that I do when I recreate all the stuff that's happening in real life in game, um, I, I do all those on a different account where it's already at the default so I can change the stats or I can, you know, manipulate all the things, put players in different teams, create players, whatever, and then just reset it to default when I'm done. So that's really the only time you would ever actually need to use reset to default unless... Actually, I don't know any time you'd ever really need to, do, uh, to use it, but hey, the option's there. So the, the two that you're really going to be looking at are these two options here, the team editor and the list management. We'll first have a look, dive into... The team editor. So here you go, as you can see, you've got all the players here. Um, you can scroll through and you can check out who's there and, uh, yeah, see the full list, lineups and all that sort of stuff. And if you want to click on one of the players, we'll just go Hamish the Vice Hartlet as an example. You come up with this little message here saying, this is a licensed player, would you like to replace this player? And da 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 If you choose no, you can go in and you can check out what they look like. You can check out all the, the date of birth, their height, all that sort of stuff. Um, you can't change any of this because they're licensed players and to do that, we'll be messing with, you know, all that sort of stuff. But... Uh, you can go and check all that out, and you can edit their stats as well. So for if for whatever reason you wanted to make, uh, I don't know, Hamish Hartlett the best player in the game, well, you can do exactly that. Put his tackle stats up to 99 to more reflect real life, uh, ball control up to 99, or if you want to completely destroy a club like Collingwood, you can put all their players' stats down to zero. So uh, that's really there. It's a bit of a muck around thing, and that's, uh, that's a good thing. I don't think they had that in AFL Live. I could be wrong. Maybe? Oh, they, actually, I think they did. I really can't remember. But even if they did, it wasn't anywhere near as usual friendly as this. I like this part of it because that's pretty straightforward. You can see all the stats, uh, and you can do that. So do I want to apply to changes? No. And you can back out of that quite easily. And a couple of people have also been asking how you actually create a new player. Um, so, for example, in one of my videos, you can click here to see that. I made Daniel Bradshaw. It was hardly a lookalike, but I put him in the team anyway. So how you do that? is you can just pick, I'll pick one of the lower guys, so I'll go with this Pfeiffer bloke here. And as you can see, it's, we get the same message, this is the licensed player. But if you click yes, it will spit you out a generic player with the matching number. Now, obviously, when you're uh, in the player creative thing, it just comes up with a random number, like 71 or whatever. But uh, I do believe that when you're actually in the game, it will come up with the same number as the player that you replace. So I, I don't know what Fifer's number was, but for example, if we got rid of, say, um, if, if we created a new player over Adam Goods from the Swans, then that player would have the number 37 when you use them in the game. So it's that sort of idea. Um, obviously, you can't edit the appearances of the real-life players. They've got all the licensed players for copyright and all that sort of reason. But you can go through this. You can add their names. You can do all that sort of stuff, change the color of their shoes, which is pretty cool, their boots. All that sort of options there, strappings, tattoos if they're from Collingwood and all that sort of stuff. So that's all there. Uh, you can randomize whatever, edit their stats, and that's all very handy. And if you don't want to do any of that, like I don't, uh, you can just go, do I still want to leave? Yes. Hopefully, I have not entirely buggered it up. And I haven't seen this back to normal. So that's basically all you can do in the team editor sort of thing. Obviously, you've, that's just Port Adelaide. Um, you've got... Uh, the custom teams there, that's how you make a new uh, custom sort of team thing. They've got, they've done something weird with the custom teams this season. They've, well, I think they've got like the, they've got the licensed team names and kits and everything, but they've just put all these generic players in there. I think, as you can see, they're all rated 99. So um, these are sort of the, the custom spots. Don't really know why they've gone to uh, put 99 for everyone, but... Oh, well, I guess it's there to muck around with. So what I would do is I would think of the team editor as basically your creation center. That is where you go to create players, destroy teams, to create, basically create and destroy 
that's the place you want to go for that. But the list management is really the reason why I made this video. A lot of people sent me messages saying, oh, how did I put, you know, all the different guys on different teams before the career mode? This is where you go to do it. So you go into the list management and it comes up with this very irritating and poorly designed menu system sort of thing. I hate, hate, with a burning passion, this type of player swap thing because it's just, it's so clunky and it's so difficult to maneuver. I mean, all right, so let me show an example. So, so let's say I want to move, I don't know, Patrick Dangerfield to Carlton, yeah? So I select Patrick Dangerfield, I would press Y to change panel, and I've got to move one across to Carlton, and as soon as I do, it deselects Patrick Dangerfield, so now I have to go back. I know it's not a real pain, and I'm hardly too lazy to do it, but it's just a little thing that's just a little bit irritating, which you can understand why it took me so long to actually put the teams... Uh, or to move all the players around to as close as they could possibly be. So this is the place where I'm sure a lot of people will be going in the next uh, couple of days now that the whole free agency thing is done and the teams are more or less set and the draft's been had and all that sort of stuff. This is where people are going to be spending many, many hours trying to update the rosters um, and all that sort of stuff. We've got Eddie Betts at uh, Adelaide. Yay! But, um, yeah, this is... It's just a pain because I I've got a few bones to pick with this... Thing, and I'm not trying to turn it into a review or anything like that, but my main problem with this, as I found out very quickly, and anyone that's been to the list management has found out very quickly, is that there's no way to actually delist players. In AFL Live 1, there was a, like a delisted thing, or a, uh, just a, a list of players that weren't assigned to a team, they were they're unlisted, yeah? They were off roster. And this doesn't have it. I mean, if, say, okay, let's find a, a player here that's retired. Uh, who's one? Uh, there's one down the bottom. I think John Cox retired, hasn't he? Graham John Cox. Yeah, here we go. John Cox retired, okay? There is no way for me to remove him from the Adelaide roster aside to put him in the reserve. So, okay, I can swap into, like, Richmond or something. But as you can see here, if I go, let's say, go to, I don't know, try to put him in the Bendigo Gold, there's no way. There is no way to delist them or to put them in another competition. They have to stay there. And sure, I could... I don't know, create a new draft pick or whatever to override him, but that's just a pain. And sure, I'll tell you, what, I do not want to go over that sort of effort for every draft pick that has just been picked up. You can't add players uh, to the rosters, you can't take them away. It's just the actual maneuvering of the players, as I've already said, is a real pain. So let's say, okay, for some reason, Nathan Van Berlo, with 10 seconds to go in the trade day, decides that he's going to be sent to. The Brisbane Lions for Jack Redden, okay? Let's go with that. So we got Redden going off to Adelaide for Van Berlo, and you t your swap is done. So Van Berlo will end up taking Jack Redden's number at Brisbane, and Redden will take Van Berlo's uh, number on the back of his jersey at the Adelaide Crows. So you can see what I mean. It's uh, It works, just not very well. And, and similar things like Alan Didak. I mean, he's, he's nowhere at the moment, and I can't put him into a VFL side or whatever because it just won't let you. So... I mean, there is no way I'm going through the creator thing just to... No, it's just... No. It's just a, not a very good system for mine, and I'm really not a fan of it. Actually, no, there's another bone I've got to pick with this, right? Uh, I've just been thinking off the top of my head. Dane Rampey this season, right? Dane Rampey, now that Jude Bolton's retired, Bolton has... Or Jude has given his number to Dane Rampey for the 2014 season. Now... Unless I actually deleted the Jude Bolton player and overwrote him with Dane Rampey, or if I, I don't know, found some way to trade with, like, another club and then bring the players back and make, like, 15 different switches to put Dane Rampey in Jude Bolton's number. It is the only way that I could possibly make a number change. It's just so difficult. There are so many steps you should have to do when there really should just be an option. I mean, it just seems like there's... It seems incomplete. That's really the only th word that comes to mind. It's like there are so many little things they just didn't think of when they were making this. And But anyway, guys, that is basically my guide to the footy factory. Um, uh, it's turned into a little bit of a rant. I didn't plan for it to do that at all, but... Uh, oh, well, that's the way it goes. So, guys, that is the, the best sort of help that I can give at the moment. For everyone asking me the questions as to how do I do this, how do I do that in the footy factory... Um, that is the best I can do at the moment. Uh, if there are any more questions or if I've completely forgotten something which I should have remembered, be sure to leave a comment in the section below and I'll do my best to get back to it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to mash that like button and hit that subscriber button if you would like to see more. Subscribing to me is like giving me a virtual high five and everyone loves high fives. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Cheers and stay tuned.